Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to get on here today and uh, give you an update on some of the fragrances that I have purchased uh, since the beginning of March, I guess, when we were all quarantined from COVID-19. And uh, it all started off with Kathy from Kathy Beauty Care Chat. So thank you, Kathy, for getting me addicted to perfumes again. <laughs> But no, seriously, um, it all started with one fragrance that was not a blind buy, but a repurchase of many, many, many years ago. And it was my signature fragrance, and it is none other than Eternity, Calvin Klein Eternity. And um, can I just say, you know, just, you know, can we have a moment? Uh, can we just have a moment? This just transports me back in time, back to the 90s. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if by repurchasing it, if I would still love it as much as I did then. And honestly, I probably wore it for, it feels like 10 years, but it was probably only maybe three, four years that I wore it. And I love it as much now as I did back then. In fact, I love it more now than I did back then. And the reason why I love it more is because of the memories that go with it. And, you know, I was, it was it, it was 90s. Was it the 90s or the 80s? Whenever it first came out, because I can remember it being quite expensive. Um, I can remember it being around $50 for, um, for the kit. Uh, and I got the, uh, you know, like you got it in like a box set around Christmas time. And I remember it being around $50, $60. And that was a lot of money back then. So, um, yeah, it has a strong floral. It's a strong floral smell. It's, uh, it's powdery. It's got the most incredible smell of carnations here. So if you don't like the smell of carnations... You may not like this and carnations have like a spicy smell to them like a almost like a like it's not a cinnamon but like a nutmeg a nutmeg or a um yeah it's it's like a sweet nutmeg or um cloves that's what it is it's cloves it's nutmeg and cloves and that's what I smell predominantly in this and the memories are just amazing now look at how much I've used of this already and um, I don't think it's really a winter fragrance I use it primarily in the summer but this is a this is a powerhouse of a fragrance this lasts and lasts until you shower if you put this on your clothes it will last forever like it just won't wash out it, it, it's it's that strong but not in a bad way, but you either love it or you hate it. And I love it. And this is the fragrance that I got the most compliments on of any fragrance that I have ever worn in my entire life. People would stop me in the street and say, what are you wearing? It is incredible. This projects out in a crowd. So maybe it would be good in the winter time because then it wouldn't be so strong, but I wore it all year round. Back in those days, you just wore your fragrance. Whatever fragrance it was, that's what you wore. You had a signature fragrance, you didn't wear anything else. At least that's how I was. And this was, this was my um, finally arrived fragrance. You know, uh, this was my, you know, I've got the husband, I've got the house, I've got the kids, I've got the career. This was, this was my, this was my power, powerhouse fragrance. And I still get that, that vibe from it today. So yeah, this one was definitely um, the first purchase and couldn't believe how reasonable it is now because it is an old fragrance. It does not smell dated in my opinion. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. It gets spicier and sweeter as it dries down on your skin and projects forever, like way out there. So yeah, yeah, people smell you before you arrive. So if you don't mind that, then 
you will love this. And I didn't mind that in those days. I, I had the confidence that, you know, I always wanted growing up. And uh, yeah, this one definitely was a good blind buy for less than $20. It's a no brainer in my opinion. And I think I'll always keep it from now on. I'm sorry that I um, ended up not purchasing it for so many years. So it's back in my collection. The next one I'm going to talk about, which was definitely a blind buy. And most of my blind buys were not overly expensive because I would not blind buy something that was a hundred dollars or, or more. Um, I just wouldn't. So this was a celebrity fragrance that everyone talks about. And of course it is none other than Fancy by Jessica Simpson. And look, <laughs> look at my bottle. <laughs> it is going down fast. You can tell better when I turn it on its side like that. Look at that. Yeah, um, I need a backup of this one. So let's spray this one and talk about it a little bit. So. This is my cozy, I could go as far as saying that this is probably one of my top favorite fragrances in my collection. And this is, this is very affordable fragrance. So all of these fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today are affordable, as in affordable, like under $30. So, there's no reason why you have to buy expensive fragrances. I could actually probably live with five fragrances and maybe only maybe two of those would be high end. So I think that that's really, um, I think that's amazing. I love that celebrities have brought out fragrances of quality now there's lots of celebrity fragrances get a bad rap. Yeah, there are affordable, high quality ingredients fragrances out there for under $30. And this is most definitely one of them and probably one of my favorite and I will have this in my collection forever. And this opens up with um, juicy pear, berries, and white florals and jasmine. The, ja the jasmine is predominant in this, middle notes of jasmine. And um, yes, it starts to, to, I mean, this is delicious from the start to the very end. This is a very simple, uncomplicated fragrance. So if you, if you're not into overly gourmand or uh, niche fragrances, this is probably this is probably one of the easiest blind buys that you will ever find. And I'm so happy that I found it. I'm so happy that people have done reviews on this and love it so much. And um, so the notes of it are pear, apricot, um, berries, uh, like like mixed berries. And then it opens with a lovely fresh caramel and jasmine. There's, um, there's uh, is it gardenias? There's gardenias in it. And then it dries down to a soft vanilla uh, sandalwood fragrance that lasts all day. And in my case, this lasts all night. I sleep in this. This is one of the most comforting fragrances. And if it's, you know what, if you, if you're in the market for high-end fragrances, if you can afford to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a fragrance, you know, um, that's fine. And, and I think it's wonderful. There are some amazing designer fragrances out there that are just to die for. There are some amazing niche fragrances that, that come like, you know, Penhaligon off the top of my head have, have some of the most incredible fragrances that I have ever spelt. And, and I'm very thankful that I have been able to smell them um, because of Abby, because Abby sent me some samples and they are absolutely to die for. But this fragrance, honestly, if you are on a budget, and who isn't on a budget nowadays, you know, but you don't have to, you don't have to cut corners with this fragrance. This is a beautiful fragrance. So um, yeah, and, uh, and it's fancy. It's fancy by Jessica Simpson.
Good, good job, Jessica, if you're watching. You did a great job of creating this fragrance. And um, yeah, I don't know who the nose of this is. If I, I'll look it up. And if I find the nose of this, then I will, I will write it down below because they did, a, they did a heck of a job on this fragrance. So moving on to another fragrance that I absolutely love. And uh, it is another one that I've been using like crazy. And it is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. Again, I've been using this one quite a lot. Uh, beautiful summer fragrance. Let's just have a spritz at it. Beautiful, beautiful. Opens up with like kind of like a little bit of a sharp peppery smell. And then it starts to soften down into like a, a sweet floral. But it has still like a little spicy. Yeah, this, um, this, I did a comparison video with this and my um, Coco Mademoiselle. And Coco Mademoiselle, I guess if you could compare them together, would probably be a second cousin to this one. It's not a dupe. It's not a sister. It's not a close relative, but it is, it has similarities. And I prefer, I prefer Sophia. And the top notes include juicy blackberry, sparkling cassie buds, and plum. Then flowers of violet, Colombian rose, and Colombian orchid are laid on the base of sandalwood, vanilla, and earthy woods. But when I first spray it, I get a pepper. There is a definite pepper, and it does not say pepper in this. Juicy blackberry, it says top note. Sparkling cassie buds. Cassis buds? I don't know what that is. And plum. But there's pepper in this. I, I could almost swear there is pepper on the top notes, which dissipates really, really quickly. But it gives you that burst of freshness that makes your mouth water. And then violets. Again, violets. Give me violets. Give me jasmine. Give me orchids, sandalwood, vanilla, and earthy woods. This is, without a doubt, another amazing, amazing blind buy. And I will keep this in, collect in my collection as long as I can, as long as it's being, uh, being produced. So again, another good one, another good celebrity fragrance that is not cheap, that lasts all day or all night. I wouldn't put this on during the night simply because this would wake me up. This is very refreshing. It wakes you up. It, it, it makes you, you know, it gives you like a burst of, wow. So you don't want that when you're going to bed at night. The Jessica Simpson one is very calming at night. I love it. So yeah. So that's another blind buy that is absolutely a winner in my opinion. And I love it. And again, under uh, around the $30, $35 mark. And I'm talking Canadian. So for you gals down in the United States, this is probably like 20 bucks. Like seriously, it is that good. Um, another blind buy uh, was this one. And this scared me a little bit because it is a Mugler fragrance. And it's the um, Alien Essence Absolute. Now this is discontinued, uh, guys. This is discontinued fragrance. And um, I actually found it on the Lisa's pop-up um, in Toronto here. And it was selling for, I believe it was $39.99 Canadian. And I thought, you know what, this, this, this gets such good reviews, I'm going to try it. And I think it's 30 mil, Brits first, okay? And you know why I love this? This gives you the most incredible burst of jasmine right off the top. And when I first sprayed this, when I got it, I was just so in love with it. Couldn't wait to wear it. So I wore it to bed at night because this is very much a winter, a fall, winter, cozy fragrance. 
It opens with Jasmine. It is so gorgeous. It is, I can't even tell you how excited I am to own this. And it's discontinued, so I'm going to have to use this one sparingly. So the notes are Jasmine right off the bat. I don't even have to look at the notes to tell you that it's Jasmine because I could smell it as soon as, as soon as I opened it and smelt it, I could smell that. Okay, so it's white jasmine, aureus root. Again, I don't know what that smells like, aureus root. It's got an animalistic, animalistic black vanilla pod as it starts to dry down. There's incense in here, myrrh. I don't know what they smell like. White amber and cashmere wood. And can I say, this is the most incredible fragrance. And thank goodness there's no patchouli in it. <laughs> so if you like patchouli, and you like patchouli strong in a fragrance, like in your gourmand fragrances, you might not like this. This is gorgeous. This is sweet, beautiful, jasmine, uh, warm, woody, cozy, delicious fragrance. And why did they discontinue it? I have no idea. Why they have done that, I have no idea. But yeah, this was definitely an amazing blind buy. And if I see another one, I will probably repurchase another one. This is gorgeous. This came in the most gorgeous presentation box. Um, just, it's just a, it's just a gorgeous fragrance and a powerhouse. This will last and last. If you spray it on your clothes, this is going to last. But look at the details on the bottom of the bottle. Like, focus, focus. Look at the details. Look at the plate on the bottom. Look at the details on the top and the back of this bottle. Isn't it just stunning? This is probably the most pretty bottle in my collection and I absolutely love it. So yeah, another blind buy, another great blind buy and I will enjoy this fragrance until I can't find it anymore. And I'm not going to get to all of my blind buys today, so I'm just going to do the highlight of the ones that um, that have made the most impact on me. And you're not going to believe it, girls and guys, but this one here, which is Adidas, it's called Adidas Born. And I found this again on the Lisa's pop-up site. And look at how much I've used already. Now, this is gorgeous. Uh, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to blind buy it. I thought Adidas, Adidas making fragrances, really? Don't they make shoes? <laughs> this is probably not going to be very good, but it is very, very good. And I'll tell you why it's good. And I'll also tell you why it's not good. And let's start with the reasons why it's not good before I tell you the ingredients. It doesn't last. It might last two hours. And of course you have to spray it all over your body, on your hair, on your clothes, on your skin to get the fragrance, but it's beautiful. And I'm gonna tell you what the ingredients are and you'll probably love them. If you love the same fragrances that I do, then you will probably love this one. And the notes are, it opens with a cocktail of bergamot, apricot, and orange peel. The heart captures exotic coconut, candied apple, and jasmine, placed on the base of tonka bean, cedar, and olive wood. So those ingredients are all divine, and I'm going to spray it. This just makes me happy. This fragrance is sweet, it's fruity, it's summery, but it almost dries down to a warm gourmand, sweet candy apple. The candy apple almost has like a, what can I say, caramel in it. Of course, it's got to be caramel, but it also has a hint of coffee, but that could be the tonka bean that I'm getting. So it starts off really fresh, fruity, and then it dries down to um, a gourmand. And you could, the, 
you, you could just wear this all day long, but you would have to spray it on every two hours. And so I'm going to be using up this bottle. This, this you could probably use year round. So I'll just keep this out in, and wear it year round. Um, and that was $12.99 on the Lisa clearance site and that was the tester bottle. So this is lovely. And if you don't mind spraying a fragrance on every two hours, then you'd probably love it. It, it is so, it is that good. Yeah, it's that good. I can smell the, I can smell the caramel, but the fruit in it as well makes your mouth water. You can almost taste it. I can actually taste the candy apple. It's great. Anyway, yeah, those were my blind buys, my top blind buys. And one, two, three, four of them were cheapies. This one was a good deal at $35, but it's a designer fragrance. This one is also a designer fragrance, but it was cheap for $20. Under $30 for this one. 30-ish dollars for this one. And $12.99 for the Adidas one. So that is my review of those ones. And then I will do a second review on some of my other blind buys. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few blind buys. Most of these are blind buys. So um, anyway, thank you for watching. And if you're still here, then this is another giveaway. It's a giveaway of one of my Nora Knits hats. And uh, let's see, what could we do? Maybe what color of a heart? A green heart? How about a green heart? If you've watched till now and you would like to be in this giveaway, then it's a custom knit hat. I have piles and piles and piles of hats already done. And you pick the color you want. Uh, they come from anywhere from black, everything in between to white. So uh, yeah, there are pink hats, blue hats, green hats, gold hats, rust hats, black hats, white hats. You pick and you pick the pom-pom and I will ship that out to you. So yeah, little green heart uh, or several little green hearts. And uh, thank you again. Thank you for your uh, loyalty. And this is my way of thanking you by giving giving away something that is near and dear to my heart because this is Nora Knits is after my granddaughter for those who don't know who, who are, are new to my channel um, and uh, yeah the only thing you have to be is subscribed um, and uh, actively active when this goes up so if you just subscribe after then you don't qualify. But if you um, are a active subscriber and you've watched this video to now, then uh, little green hearts and, uh, and I will pick the winner. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. And this is just a little, uh, just a little example of some of the hats that I have um, finished up and two different styles um, you've got the rib that goes up and down and a little caramel pom-pom on it and then you've got the rib that goes across and the little cuff goes up it's like this and this is like a, a light a lighter caramel these are not real fur by the way and then you've got um, the chocolate, the navy, the cream, um, really pretty burgundy one with the turn up cuff here that's going one way and then the pattern going across. And it's got like a gray, it's got a little gray palm on it. These pom poms look very authentic, but they are not real fur. Then we've got a gray one here with a cable knit going straight up, which is a popular one. These are both really popular. This one, um, this particular pattern here was created um, for Heather. So I call this um, 
for, for you who don't know, Heather's my daughter. And uh, yeah, I created this hat for her. She has a big head. <laughs> she knows she has a big head. But yeah, this pattern was created for her and I called it Heather. So it was two patterns kind of put together. So the turn up cuff and then the pattern going across. And uh, this is the color that I actually did for her as well. So it's in the color, I believe this is called um, mustard or I can't remember now. But anyway, yeah, that nice in the fall time. And uh, I also did her one with stripes for her husband's uh, hockey team. So I custom made her hat. Um, yeah, so this is just a little example of what I've got, but hopefully I have something that will strike your fancy. So there you go, girls and guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there we are. <laughs>